again we are back on this diagram now we have already covered all these plots and today we're gonna learn about multi-plot grids what is that before we proceed further i would strongly recommend if you have not seen all this video please spare some time and watch this out that's going to be very helpful so in facet multi plot grids we're going to learn about facet grid plot what happens in facet grid it provides you a facet like the name itself suggests it provides you a grid in which you can supply the charts and apply multiple dreams uh, sorry multiple designs so it, it specifically it gives you a lot of uh, flexibility so that you can create individual plot for each of the items right so if we group all the activities which we do in facet grid then we can create two segments one is creating a structure and then the other one is supplying the charts or plots along with their styling options right let's understand this in detail hello everyone welcome to the channel learn area and to understand the concept very clearly please watch the video till the end once you are done with watching the video do not forget to like comment subscribe and hit the bell icon let's understand what is it creating the structure and skeleton for example you have a table which has one column outlet size and this has three unique values small medium and high and basis on this you want to have individual plot for each of the these three items so that you can do over here first thing you create the structure you can also say that it's a skeleton then this kind of structure you can create now you can see that it's completely empty and this is because facet grid provides you the flexibility to supply whatever kind of plot you want that you can easily supply in that so for example next step is supplying the graphs or other values for example if you want to see the count for the range of sales that you can then you can supply a histogram if you want to see the distribution you can supply kde plot if you want to see the sales trend year year on year then you can supply line plot if you want to see the relationship between sales and outlet year then you can plot a scatter plot all right so these all kind of things which you can do you can also use you and other things other options which are applicable on scatter plot so as per seaborn library website it accepts this set of arguments out of which we will learn whatever are most frequently required and as per that website it defines it like this multi -plot, it's a facet grid is a multi plot grid for plotting conditional relationships now this is a lot of theory let's go and try the practical things all right so here we are back with our jupyter notebook and here we have imported all the required libraries of course this os is not important numpy i just keep to be on safer side just in case if you require here i have imported one data which is uh, mart line plot okay so this uh, data i'll be providing you a link from there you can download it very easily now from this uh, data frame i am trying to check the unique items available in outlet size so we, we have three unique items at the same time we will also check the unique item available in uh, this variable outlet here because that is something which we also use um, we will be using that as well right so let's see there are three unique items in uh, this outlet location type and three unique item in outlet size now lot of talking let's start the practical things right so here you just need to do so this thing let's just say sns and as usual previously we just uh, used to type everything in small letter but here you need to be careful in facet grid spelling will be like this camel case right and in that what you're gonna do is supply the table name that is mart and the the variable basis on which you want to separate the charts that you need to provide over here and in that which we are going to use is outlet size so basis on that here we have a we, we have three columns created over here all right now this is done now it's time comes to supply the chart which we want to see in that so for doing that first we need to create a 
object so here i'm creating an object named learn area you can keep it whatever you want you can say x y z your name whatever it is and just assign this thing inside this now once this is done basis on this object you can create you can do the mapping of data frame so all that you need to do is say object name which is learn area dot map data frame if you want you can use map as well but map data frame provides you more frag flexibility that's why i'm going to show you more uh, map data frame only over here right now here you just don't need to provide the data frame because that you have already supplied over here what you need to provide over here is the plot which you want to see and in histogram you know that we use only one variable so here we just use sales right and let's plot this here we go now here we have plot created for each of the outlet size this is histo plot, histogram plot and this is created for each of the outlet size if you want to change it you can do that as well change it to kde plot and now you would have a kde plot created over here similarly if you want to change it to let's say line plot you can change it to line plot as well but we all know for line plot we require two variables so here on x-axis we gonna plot outlet year and on y-axis we will see the sales so we're gonna see that by the time how sales is changing so that's gonna that's we're gonna see over here now once this is plotted after that you can apply all the formattings which we use with line plot if you have not seen that all the related plots uh, link for all the related plots i'll be providing in the description section do not forget to just check that out right similarly let's say if we want to change this further to a scatter plot that can also be done now here we have a scatter plot and these variables we are going to keep same let's try that Okay, now we got our scatter plot created. Now let's try to use some of the styling which we have learned in a scatter plot. So let's say I want to see you as outlet location type that I want to use on. I use you on, and then I want to change marker to let's say this one. I want to apply some alpha that i can say 0 0.5 this video might be a little longer but i'm trying to keep it interesting so just bear with me right they, you would really enjoy it alpha i'll keep 0 0.5 and then let's say i want to change the color of markers let's say i want to see red markers that we can do if you want to change size of marker that can also be done let's say size i want to keep 100 let's run this Oh, now here we have all the markers created this looks very hazy i agree with you but uh, here the purpose is just to show you the options which we can use right so all the arguments which we learned in scatter plot all of them can be uh, used over here in this segment not in the structure segment but in the segment where we are supplying the plot type right so th this is how you can complete this thing now in the second part we will try to use the options which are available for facet right that you can try over here as well but just to keep it simple and clear i'm just going to create another example over here so here i'll just keep it same let's run this now here you got again three columns created for example here you you saw that we are creating three columns based on the value which we have available in outlet size now what if we, we want to see separate variables on combination of outlet size and the outlet location type that means in tier one we want to see all the three columns uh, all the three outlet size separately so how can we do that let me show you by example so here we supplied call and in that we can supply row as well right so all that you need to do is say outlet the variable in outlet location type and let's run this so now we would have three into three six specific charts available over here or maybe plot whatever you want to say you can say that now the second thing which we're gonna do is just supply a chart so i'm just going to keep this simple 
so that it will be easy to understand right but you can uh, do whatever you want you can supply whatever you want right so as an as for simplicity i'll use hist plot only and in that on x axis i'm going to plot sales let's run this it's going to show you the output very quickly it's taking a little time so we can just bear with it so here we have one plot created for each of the individual uh, location type and each of the individual outlet size right now let's try to do some modification for example if you see over here this y axis this one y axis is being used for all of these columns right here this is being used for all of these columns it, it provides you the option you can try you can use uh, you can use this separate y axis for each of these plot how can you do that for that you just need to say y lim equals to by default it is true now we just going to say false and then this would have one separate thing created for each of this let's see that my bad here instead of y lim i should have to say share y share y right and let's run this again now like you can see here we have separate y axis for each of the plots but the challenge which we see is each of the plot has different limit for example here it is 0 to 400 this one is 0 to 800 and this one is 0 to 300 and something so you can also make that uniform how can you do that for that you need to use y lim and in y lim the value which we're going to use is let's say 0 to let's say 1000 and let's run this so here we got like you can see here we have y limit set for each of the chart if you can see over here same thing can be done for x axis as well we can try that we will do that at the end before that let me show you some more options so here like if you want you can set the axis level for y axis as well as and as oh sorry, this is x axis x axis and y axis for both of these two things you can set the axis levels so all that you need to do is say learn area again the object we will use and here you can say set axis labels and in that first you need to supply the value of x axis which is going to be sales and on y axis we want to show the count let's run this now, if you can notice over here on y axis you have counts and on x axis you have sales available okay now the other part which you're gonna see is like you can see here it is looking too hazy right you can style these things also for that we can use the default templates for that you're gonna say learn area dot set template sorry it will be set title titles right and in here you can give the column title and row title separately let's start with call template and in that in the quotation you need to supply the value whatever you want to give to column right so but here we have each column representing to a different value so for that i will directly use this variable which I have supplied over here that means I'll just directly supply the column name which we have supplied in call parameter right so all that you need to do is just say call underscore name and after that you would have just one va value for each of the columns all right like you can see over here now you this is looking much better and here for, for each of the outlet size the only item name is written over here small medium and high same thing you can do for row label as row template as well right by default c1 provides a certain template so we can you can you can make use of that for that you need to say row template and here you can say row name let's run this sorry this has to be row name okay so now you can see here it says tire to small outlet size so this if you are confused about what does this tire tire to means what does this small means so you can just prefix or suffix some value for example tire to is the type right tire to type you can say tire to is the 
type sorry and uh, this medium <coughs> sorry type should come on here outlet type and here we can say size okay let's run this now you can see this is highly customized it says tire 2 type small size tire 2 type small size tire 2 type small size here it has tire 1 type small size medium size high size right so this is how you can customize your uh, you can create a facet grid and you can customize it with all these options which we just discussed other than this you have many other options available as well which you can just see from here i would highly encourage you to go ahead and try all of these or any of this whatever you want just in case if you have any doubt put that into the comment section we will definitely try to thank you very much for being with us i just hope that you like this video just in case if you have any doubt do not hesitate to put that into the comment section until then happy learning goodbye